Hi everyone, Raf here and in this video we're gonna have another material design study which is about rocks. So let's just get to it. So as you can see here, there are different designs and colors for the rocks. And as you can see, all these ones here are actually just the same rocks. And I mainly use just blending modes for this. So that means you can easily change the color of the rock right here as you can see. And because it's blending modes, the details will always be the same. So I can color it right here or duplicate this one. And then just simply click on the swatches palette here and you can easily change the rock's color. Okay, so we're just going to hide it for now. And then we're going to start again. So I'm just going to use the pen tool. And we're just going to create a simple outline or silhouette for a rock. And then first we're going to make the darkest part or value for the shape. So I'm just creating the detail for the bottom part here. And then I'm just going to press Shift D to make it multiply or turn it into multiply. And then select both and then use the Shape Builder tool again to remove the excess part. So we're going to remove this part right here. So just press Alt and then drag along. Okay, now we're going to make the lightest part or the lightest value for the rock. So we're just going to draw a similar shape on the top right here. You can also create smooth curves like this. Or you can even just plot out the design so that you can show more rigidity in the shape. So I'm just clicking right here. And then we're going to press Shift S again to turn it into screen mode. Select both again. Or just Shift select the shapes. Press Shift M again and then remove this. Okay, so there's your initial rock. And then we're just going to create the details right here. You see these ones? This actually adds a lot to the rock and we're just going to make it really subtle. So we're just going to draw the similar shapes again. We can either turn them into screen mode or to multiply mode. So it's just actually based on your preference. So I'll just stick with the multiply mode right here. And I'm going to lessen the opacity right here, maybe about 50% or so. And then select the base shape right here, our base shape for the rock. And then select both. And then just remove the excess again. Also remember that you can easily change the opacity of the shape right here. So this is a bit too much for me. So I'll just turn it into 70%. And this one also I'll just turn it into 70%. And then we're going to add those highlights right here. So as you can see in this sample, there are these highlights on the rocks. So in order to do that, you can actually just lock these guys and press Ctrl 2. Or you can select them both and then go to Object, Lock and Choose Selection. And then we're just going to zoom in and create the highlights for the rock. And then turn it into screen mode by pressing Shift S. And we're just going to add the same detail on the other parts of the rock. You can also add those other details for the rock, like these ones. It's actually just the same for the highlights and the crack parts right here. So we're just gonna create a different shape, but we're actually gonna have the same approach. So I'll just use the pencil again. And we're gonna turn it into multiply mode. And then we can lock it. And then we're gonna add the highlight now. You can actually lessen the opacity of this shape so that you can see the artwork under it and then just continue your shape. And then we can turn it into screen mode again. And as you can see, there's the detail right there. You can actually just use the ellipse tool and draw out the similar shape, lock it, and then just draw the highlight part. And we can unlock them and you can even reuse this. So in my case, I'll just group this by pressing Ctrl G and then I'm gonna press Alt and then drag it out. And as you can see, I was able to duplicate the shape and then we can just move it on the other parts of the rock. 
or even make it smaller or rotate it a bit by pressing R. So I'm just holding Alt here and dragging them out. And now we're just gonna add more highlights to this. So just draw another layer of shape right here, which we will also turn to screen afterwards. And you can actually make this thinner. And then turn it into screen mode again, and then select it, select the base, and then use the shape builder tool to remove it. And then we can easily add more textures to this. So I'll just use the pen tool. And I'm just gonna scribble using my mouse right here. And then we can press I to sample the same effect we have right here. Like so. And then you can even lessen the opacity because this is just another added subtle detail. So 30% or 40% will work. And we can create more on the other sides. And as you can see, I'm just using my mouse right here so that it will actually look more scribbled. And then press I again to activate the eyedropper tool and then we're just gonna sample the same effect and color right here so and then we can actually remove the excess part right now so press shift M and use the shape builder again and remove them so there you go we can actually add more right here so I'll just use the pen tool again and I'm just gonna scribble out again Now we can use the eyedropper tool again and sample the highlight from here. And you can also lessen the intensity so 30 or 40 will work. And then we're just gonna remove the excess again. You can actually lessen it. I think 30 or 20 would work. Okay, so there you have it. We're just gonna select them all again and press Ctrl G to group them. Okay now, so the trick here is since we've used blending modes, and we have the same color value for all we can actually just duplicate them and then just click on the swatches right here and we will have the same shape and the same stone but with actually a different color scheme so we actually took advantage of the blending modes and we can actually create more shapes by just dragging out the corners here like so maybe a smaller one right here you can actually flip it, so I'll just press Ctrl R and I'll just flip it vertically. Like so, so I can stretch this out, duplicate it. Let's just move it right here. And as you can see, it was really easy to create and it's also a great way to populate your scene by just using one asset. So you can see we've actually just created one shape or rock here and then we were able to create this simple scene right here by just duplicating it and transforming it into different proportions. So we're just gonna add some more. We can actually enlarge this one. And duplicate it again. Maybe this time smaller. Flip it again. Maybe we can add one right here on the top. Maybe we can flip it. And then we can actually just use the same set again. And then we can change the whole color theme. So I'll just press Ctrl H so that we won't see these anchor points right here. And you can see the real time effect when we change the color using the swatches palette. Okay, so it's actually selected right here. I just hidden the anchor points. So you can change it to green or maybe orange or any other colors. This one looks cool right here. So maybe another shade of gray right here and as you can see it actually updates in real time and it's really fast so i hope you've learned from this material design study and that you've learned another workflow on taking advantage and using the blending modes properly